So I'm here with Puka, who is a little stuffy puppy. Um, and I'm just going to do, I do this most evenings, I just do a little bit of healing in the living room just to make sure that it's nice and tight. Um, challenging, because she's got her litter mate with her, so I need to make sure that both of them are quite good at healing before I can start phasing them in together. And I'm just going to talk through two, three, four things that I do, just give a really quick demo of each thing that I do to help with my healing. So the first one is just luring the dog and having the food in the crook of my hand here, luring the dog along next to me, yes, and then releasing the food. So having the dog next to me, yes, and then just releasing it. Good. Yes. Okay. Once the dog's doing really well at that, I tend to move from having that heavy reliance on the lure there. So I start intermittently giving food. Yeah? Good. 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 Then I start expecting a little bit of... Manny, stop it. Then I start expecting a little bit of eye contact and duration in between. Okay? And I spur interaction to give my reward because dogs take, most dogs tend to find that... Um, really exciting and it drives them to want to do it more. So, by that I mean... Good girl! Good. Yes! Good girl! Yes! Good. Yes! Good girl! Yes! Okay, so the second she looks at me and she's taken one or two steps, Yes, and then I'm running back and giving her the reward. So it's kind of like a toy as well as a, a food treat, okay? I'm also making sure that my turns are really nice and tight right now, okay? So when I'm asking the dog to turn, okay, okay, okay. I'm using the food on the end of her nose to turn so that I'm getting really nice tight turns and giving the, giving the reinforcer, yes. At the moment that she's made the turn, Yes. Tightly to my leg. Yes. Good girl. Yes. Good job. Okay. See that last repetition, she didn't actually need the food lure because I've put the time in doing that. Good girl. So that my turns are quite neat. Okay. So that's just for our right turn. We need to work on our left turn. Um, so yeah, food on the end of the nose holding the treat in the crook of your hand. On the dog's nose, the dog's kind of nibbling at it while they're eating, whilst they're following your hand. Um, yes and reward, just pop the treat out into their mouth once they've done a couple of steps. Then start phasing it out, treat, 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 treat as you're walking, rather than having it constant, constantly. Okay, okay. good. Uh, then you wanna start phasing that out even more. One, two, three, four, five steps of looking up at you. Yes, run back and reward them as a game. It doesn't always have to be food, it can also be toys, but she's really foody, so that's what she prefers. Um, work on your turns. Right turns are easiest to master than the left turns, I always think. Um, left turns. Shh, we'll cover another day. So yeah, that was just our little session on healing this evening with this super cute little dude. Look at this little babes. Yes. Oh, he's a good girl. Good girl. Awesome. So yeah, I'll do the same with her brother now. And then we'll start phasing their healing in together so that they're able to do it as a joke. Okay.